going on guys all wheel dsm here and today i'm gonna be doing two things with the dsm uh number one i got the uh airbag to install and then we're going to be um remanning the uh parking brakes because my e-brake never worked so we're gonna be trying that so first of all we're gonna be doing the airbag it's really simple you got bolt right here and a bolt right there and then you put this bad boy you connect this bad boy and then you go and there you go you got got an airbag but um fuck what was that saying oh yeah now dsms on their stock wheel they have four 10 millimeter bolts that bolt into the airbag 3g eclipses however have a uh, two bolts with a T30 star bit on the end. So there's a little variation for those of you who want to put a 3G wheel in your DSM. I don't see many people doing it, but I just like the three spoke design a lot better. And the nubs. So, uh, anyways, let's get to it. Suddenly I'm falling. I'm falling upright. I was falling into a stair. I'm falling upright. So here we go, it is installed, just need to clean it up a bit, because it's a bit dirty, but uh, whew, that looks so much better in my opinion. Let's get out. Nice. So yeah, that part is done. Now I have the wheel that I've always wanted in here. It's, it's a lot smaller, you have a lot more leg room it seems and just feels better it just feels a lot better and that big four spoke so yeah we're gonna get started on those e-brakes now all right so we are in the shop now i'm gonna give you a little rundown how to rebuild these before we time lapse it okay so this is the start mounting point. E-brakes, well, at least on DSM, they are spring and lever loaded. So what you need from your old um, e-brake, I can't think of the word, I'm stupid. But um, all you need is this clip that goes right here, and then you need this, which is uh, gonna be on the old shoe, which connects the e-brake cables so you see there's a little clip right there under that there's a spring clip so you need to get that off and then what you do is you get your e-brake shoes your new ones how you can differentiate them is this one is going to be on this side right here where the uh, cable comes out and now you see this one is kind of squared, this one is round, round on round, square, down there. And then this sits, see the long one, it sits right here. And then this one sits against that, like so. And then cable comes through there, comes through here, and you're going to have it like this, underneath. 
Now let me give you a little rundown of the parts. This is the adjuster. I'm gonna have two pieces on this. Let's go through that first. So you have this piece. On one side you can see it kind of has a gap between the uh, threads. The one without the gap is where this one goes. Screw that in. Blah, blah, blah. And then you have your other piece down here. And this just sits in there. What you do is you put a little bit of grease in it. And then this sits in between these. Like that. And then if you look, uh, it's hard to keep it in place without the uh, springs in. But yeah, it just sits down there. And that's your adjustment. If you look on your uh, your rear brakes, they'll have a little space for it. Now this squarish clip, I like to call it that, sits right here. And it sits against that. And it keeps pressure, pressure on it. This is the bottom clip. It goes up here on that. You have two of these yellow ones, or whatever color they're going to be, circular clips. They sit around here, and they go into these, like that. And then you have a little surf clip and a spring clip. And this is what holds on this e-brake lever. And then you have these two and they actually sit right here and they are what keeps everything mounted these come through the bottom and go up through here like that and then these two things are what keep them clipped together like that you put them down on them they're spring loaded they are a pain in the ass to get on and they hurt your fingers all right so first off what we need to do is get this off of the old one and i'm lazy so i'm going to use a grinder So this right here is the finished product. See, we have both our levers. The, uh, I don't know what you would call this. Spacer? I don't know. Those aren't levers, those are springs, stupid. Both are springs. 
all three of them, four, five, all five, six of them. And then here's the adjustment screw down there. Just turn it. It's easier with a screwdriver. But oh my God, putting these in hurts your fingers a lot. And it's hard to get them with an even loose plier because then the nail wants to turn with it. Whatever you want to call it, the pin. The pin wants to turn with it. But yeah, those are the finished products. And then hopefully, once this DSM is all put back together, we have an e-brake again. Because it sucked not having one. But um, that's going to do it for the video today, guys. Thank you for watching. Um, I do have a pretty cool video coming in soon. It's about... Before I can afford... Or before I really want to buy DSM Link, I'm going to try my luck with a... Apexi Super Airflow Converter or Controller and I got that in today. There's one local. It was really cheap 20 bucks So I picked up the wiring is a little bit shoddy, but nothing you can't fix and what I'm gonna try to do actually is um Where did I put it? Right here I'm going to try to decide a spare one of these whenever I place a dash I'm going to try to make a panel right here for it I'm out of some metal and have it just right there on the dash. I think that'd be cool. But uh, yeah, it's going to do it for the video today, guys. You guys have a good night.